Country News update on a story we brought you this week. A car repossessed with a seven day old baby inside. Our Liz DeSantis joins us after talking to the mother of that child who recounts the moment she thought her daughter had been kidnapped. That's right. Sabria Miles has had a roller coaster week and a half. Just 11 days ago, she had her baby girl, Adrian. Seven days later, she thought that child was being kidnapped. She's an out to a possible kidnapping in progress. Sabria Miles left her week old baby in her car just for half a minute to drop her other toddler off at daycare. When she turned around, she saw someone driving off with the vehicle and child. From 323 East Riverside, where someone stole a female's gold car with a newborn inside. Another mother helped Miles follow the car down the street. It would be several agonizing minutes before the two were reunited. I couldn't talk. I was just too frustrated and I was crying. You know, you know, I carried my baby for nine months and now I lost her. Police say the newborn wasn't kidnapped. A repo man who'd come to take Miles's vehicle had mistakenly driven off with the child still inside. Miles says she had no warning the car was being repossessed. We talked about the situation of what I'm going through and everything, and he sounded understandable and everything else. Now, though, the new mother is left without a car. Her children's car seats and her cell phone are still inside the repossessed vehicle, too. And even think about the humanity of repossessing a car at a daycare. I would have been livid had a dealer done that in my parking lot. Local lawyer and daycare owner Tanisha Carruthers says seeing the mother's story earlier this week tugged on her heartstrings. Since then, she's been trying to raise money to get Miles back on her feet. What I know is that with the right resources, with the right community support, we have the ability to completely change the trajectory of a family's life. Miles says she learned from the experience. Police say, though, that there was no negligence on her part. I've been a mom since I was 15 years old. And this is the first time that anything like this has ever happened to me. And I won't let it happen again. Now, please say no charges will be filed for anyone in this incident. Carruthers has set up a GoFundMe to raise money for a new car and a few baby items for Miles and her child. The link to access that is available on our website.